In this tutorial, you can learn how to change jobs on an AutoVision smart camera using an Allen Bradley PLC over Ethernet IP. On the left side of the screen, you can see the RS Logix 5000 program connected to a PLC, which is in turn connected to a VisionHawk using Ethernet IP. On the right side, you can see AutoVision machine vision software connected to the same VisionHawk smart camera, and this smart camera has been preloaded with four vision jobs. Count, OCR to read text, decode to read a 2D code, and locate to locate certain areas in the image. Right now, the count job is running. In order to change jobs, we can go into the PLC memory and change it manually by going to the output assembly, opening up the control fields, and finding the control command code and the control command argument. In order to take the camera offline, switch jobs, Bring it online again and save that job as the good job. The command code to use can be taken from the manual, and that is 13. Let's say that we want to go to job number 4, the locate job, and enter the number here. Now we can tell the camera that we want to switch jobs. We can do so by setting the command executive to 1. You can see the camera going offline. And if we look at the status, you can see the camera going offline and back online again. There is the command that we just sent. The command results have returned to zero, which means that the job change was successful. As you can see, the job is now happily locating as we switch to the locate job. And if you check here, you can see that locate is running now. If we do this again, we can open up the output assembly again and go to Control, and now change to job number 3, Code Reading. First, I need to clear the command executive. And if I set it again, the job change will be initiated once more. This is a triggered job, so right now nothing happens. The next step would be going to the Trigger field, setting the trigger. Right now we have switched the job, and it has the decoder running. If you want to know which job is running, you can put 1800 command here, and command argument to zero, so we can send this command to the camera. The answer with the current job will be returned in command status, in the command return field, and you can see here that we're running job number 3 at the moment. This is how job change works using Ethernet IP on the VisionHawk smart camera.